Hi everybody and welcome to my channel. Tonight I am doing a huge Easter haul. I'm doing stuff from Dollar Tree and TJ Maxx. Some of it was a gift and some of it I bought as gifts or for myself. So first of all, before I get into the haul, I just want to thank people who have subscribed to my channel and of course the people who have been watching my content. Thank you very much. And along that line, we are now at 80 subscribers or family members. And when I get to 20 more, I am doing actually 22 more. I am doing a makeup giveaway. For those of you who've watched my channel for a while, you've seen the video. So anybody new, you can go back and find the video of what is in the giveaway. And I am adding, like I said, something, something extra to that giveaway. So if you haven't yet and you've watched my videos before, please hit the subscribe button and the like button. And it also lets YouTube know I'm out here and gets my channel out there. It's much appreciated. So I'm going to get started with the haul. Now, I like to shop. I'm on a budget. So I like to shop stores that reward me for shopping there. And I also shop on sales, or better yet, clearance, or even better, free. So what can you get for free that's quality? Because you just don't want free that's not quality. So being frugal isn't being cheap, cheap buying cheap items, basically. So the first one is Bath & Body Works. Sign up for their coupons if you'd like to shop there. I got this little lotion. It's 2.5 ounces because I could only spend up to $7.50. This costs $7.50. Now, if I get a coupon like I did last summer or fall during their clearance sale, you get an 8 ounce for free. So I just went in and used my coupon. I had a 25% off coupon. I already shopped during their clearance last fall, well, after Christmas, so I didn't need anything. So I just got this and left. So that's a big reward. It's them doing something. The next thing, this is where I need my glasses. Thank God I'm 50 and still getting older. It's good to get old, people. So the next thing is California Mango. Now, this is for cracked skin, and here's what it looks like. Again, another store that rewards me for shopping there. This is what the inside looks like. It's more like a gel. It's got a terrific scent. Like, I love this scent. Now, I buy my color there for my roots, so why not get rewarded? So I got my $5 coupon and I spent it on this and some hair color. So I got this basically for half price. You can't beat that deal. And here's the thing. The stores I'm doing, you can take items back if you don't like them. You can get your money back or you can exchange it. Dollar Tree, you can only exchange it for something else. And I do have makeup tonight, by the way. So I'm just going to stay in categories. So this is all TJ Maxx now. So hang with me for Dollar Tree because I really found some brand name items. I can't believe it. So the first one is this Hemp Foot Cream by Relief Naturals. It's Hemp and Peppermint, 18 full ounces. This smells terrific. It feels great on your feet. If you get the calluses off and keep using this, I can't guarantee it's going to keep the calluses off your feet, but it does, you feel tingling. So, and it keeps them soft. It, it did mine. So, and again, a really good smell. And if I haven't said it, I'm going to be dropping more videos of reviews. So I hope you guys check those out also. We're all consumers, so I just like to put out there, eh, I like this, but mm, I didn't like that. While I was there getting the foot cream at TJ Maxx, I noticed that they were setting up this, it's Farm and Table Hemp Collection 
hemp oil retinol. It's an anti-age body lotion. It's 32 ounces. They had it in retinol and collagen. I went back, I believe, within a week, and they were out of the collagen. This was $6.99 for 32 ounces. So comparing it to other big box stores, I think I got a, a good deal. And this is a thinner lotion, which I don't know if I like, but they were sold out of it. So I'm taking it that people really do like these products, that they work. So I'm definitely trying this. And then, and you can see how those would be great in the Easter basket, both of them being hemp, add a, you know, soap, a candle, so many options. This I like, it's got little bunny ears. It's called Hey Bunny, it's strawberry and vanilla ice cream whipped body lotion. It's 15.2 ounces. And what I love about this is when you open it up, you can, you're smelling it before you even get the cap off. It's got a really good lotion. It's nice and thick. So you can see how much I have on my finger. And I'm going to shut this. It doesn't take a lot for your hands, but of course, if you're using it on your body, that's a little bit different. But... Look, it hasn't moved. And what's shiny on my hands is the California that's made for the cracked skin. This stuff right here. It does leave a shiny residue, but I haven't had an issue with it like coming off on anything. Because otherwise that would be a no. Like, it needs to go back. And the next thing is Body Prescriptions Be Hoppy. Vanilla Body Scrub, 21.16 ounces. I like the top of the container. It's got the bunnies. So it's the same theme as the body lotion. But when I opened this, somebody had stuck their, opened it in the store and stuck their finger through the, the top here. So I could smell it. I hate it when people do that, but there is a plus side. You can see what it smells like. So I smelled it. I'm like, that's got a great smell. And it had a great consistency. Mine really doesn't, it smells off. And as you can tell, well, some just fell. But other than that, it's like hard as a rock. So I should open this right after I got it because they're probably out of it now, but it shouldn't be that, I, I haven't seen a body scrub that hard. I'm just gonna put it that way. So we'll see what they say about that. Then also from TJ Maxx, I'm gonna do the makeup now because makeup is always fun. This says, let the good times roll and it has a little car. I love the orange color. But when you open it up inside, oh, if I can get it open, it's got a nice big mirror. I like how it's got the little plastic paper over it. I always keep those on there. But these are more golds, reds, purples. Some have a nice shine to them and the others are mattes. And then the paper moved, which irritates Carmen. And then, and these are by uh, Beauty Concepts, because here's the packaging for the other one. Isn't that gorgeous? I love the flowers. And then when you open it up, it says, you got this. And this is the same. It's got the nice size mirror in the back, the cellophane on top. And then this is more of your gold like this mauve color that would match my sweater, browns right here, golds. So these are fun colors to kind of dip into one and you know, like do your lid in like a gold, pick out like a bright color for your crease and maybe like a lighter gold on top. 
I'm trying to get this back in the box. I mean, I grew up in the 80s, so like we did the blue eyeshadow with the blue eyeliner and the blue mascara. Same with like your purple and lavenders. This is I Love Revolution Cream Brulee. So we did, you know, a lot of colors in the 80s. I like how it's got this chocolate, like it's a candy bar. And I'll show you what I'm talking about with the, maybe with the reds. Uh, this really doesn't have reds. But this still has the big mirror. Again, shimmer with some mattes, the golds, the purple, the blues. And again, that is cream brulee. This last one is also I Love Revolution in Lemon Drizzle. The packaging on these is just, they did a good job on the packaging. Here are some of the reds. The reds, the purples. Again, the shimmer, the matte, where you could really mix and match colors and make your eyes really pop. So I'm beginning to wonder, I really haven't done the eyeshadow, so I'm be beginning to wonder if this was like a hint. So I'm gonna grab the last bag. Okay, love the 80s and all the colorful makeup. Now, I've never tried Ellen Tracy Rosy Nudes, but what I like about this is it goes like from what appears to be, it's, eh, it's a nude color to like a red, to a brown, to like a brownish red. So you get the lipstick and the matching lip gloss. There's eight of them in here total for $6.99. So if you take $1.25 a piece, it's not a bad deal. Actually, I think it's a good deal. And TJ Maxx, Marshall, Sierra, Home Goods, they do the same thing. They reward you for shopping there. I'm going to show you this. It's called Warm Up Makeup Obsession. I don't shop there often. I did do a haul with some kitchen items that I needed, but I feel like compared to the bigger box stores, I paid the same as I would have at their store or a little bit less. Plus, I got my rewards. So I'll get a coupon. And it does the coupons don't expire like in 30 days. Neither do your points when you're adding up to earn the coupon. So again, I don't shop there a lot, but it does pay. And I like this one right here. It's got some glitter in there. And I like this brown. I think the last coupon I got there from them, like expired, I know it was over a year. So you can even stack up your coupons if you shop there often, which is also a nice bonus. I don't see why you couldn't. And then this is Elf. Something got spilled on it, so I need to wipe it off. But only these two don't have the glitter. So pretty nice gold metallic palette. Especially, I think it was like 2 or $3 on clearance. I'm on to Dollar Tree and Hell now. So I hope you guys have made it this long because... I got some really terrific items at Dollar Tree, and I'm going to start with a course or candy with Easter coming up, some Tootsie Roll eggs, some of these little chocolates. It says German and that they're made in German and Poland, so I need to look at it closer, but I want to try these before I put them in Easter baskets. They had some, I think, plenty left. So, because I know the Tootsie Rolls are ones taste good. And then this tinted lip balm from Ioni. It's in pink nude. And then I found the mint lip oil in Be Pure. 
So I'm looking forward to trying the mint buffalo. And then I went and noticed these if they weren't hung this way. The bunny butts ice cube trays. So I grabbed a couple of those. And I'm looking forward to see if anybody on the channel does a DIY with those. It gives me some ideas, but I have a couple of my own because I'm not big into doing DIYs. Now, from Dollar Tree, I did pick up the Simply Antibacterial Foaming Hand Wash and Refreshing Scent. It's 7.5 ounces, and I picked up a 32-ounce refill. I didn't want to buy another refill until I tried this because I really do like a good foaming soap. The next thing I got was the Bath and Beauty Cherry Blossom Body Wash in 20 ounces. Somebody, I think, hauled this and really liked it. So I thought, okay, I'll give this a try. For a buck 25, I hope it works great. And then I got some nail polish remover that ironically is in Bath and Beauty. Yeah. So, and then this, I couldn't believe I saw. We actually had the Yardley English Lavender Lotion. I have been waiting for this for over six months. It's 7.5 ounces. When I saw it on the shelf, I was stunned. And then I about, like, girl, I about let out a little yelp. Because I couldn't believe it. There it was. Now... And there was only like maybe eight bottles left. So I don't know if we just got like a little box in our store. Because it didn't look like it had been like picked over. You can tell one time it's been picked over. But one thing I'm disappointed in is that it only comes up to like here. Like this is all air. They should just put it in a smaller bot bottle. Because it's kind of like you're trying to like cheat the consumer a little bit not be honest but for a dollar 25 like i said and i've been waiting so i found the bath and beauty super smooth shave cream and raspberry and in lavender for seven ounces and then this i could not believe that our store had already Sally Hansen's Aftercare for Face and Body Extra Smooth Lotion. It is eight ounces. So Iowa is finally catching up with bigger stores, like bigger cities. I can't believe, yeah, when I saw this, I'm like, I saw the bleach at one store, and, but to see this. And I'm just going to be honest, because I've seen that on other channels where they're like, what's this for? It's when you go in and get your lip right here waxed. Basically, it's called zipping your lip because the wax, you know, they do a wax zip. So you put this on afterwards to help soothe it or after you shave your legs. So I'm going to give that a try. Not for the, the legs. And then the last thing for Easter was... I hauled Easter eggs. I didn't think of the grass. So they had two different colors in the green, and I couldn't really tell. So I'm like, I'm just going to do this this year. So I really, like I've, I've said before, I really don't decorate for every holiday, but I love Easter. I really do. So it's a new beginning, and hopefully, God bless, it's a good new beginning. So I'm going to do it in this pink color and that is the end of my haul. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, God bless you for staying to the end if you stayed till this part. I really appreciate it. So please give me a thumbs up, leave some love in the comments and of course if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And I really look forward to seeing you on my next video. You all have a blessed day. Karma out.